Moo 50,000. You think orcs are doing so good until the demons go. I know. <laughs> I know. Kibatomu. Next time, put a Big Mac with a custom force field in your stampa. Did you not see what came out, what pooped out of the remnants of Fred after he exploded? And inside the little crater, oh, it's kind of like a dish actually for those demons, was a Big Mac with a custom force field with 30 boys. I think. Yeah, yeah, he was there. So he was there. I don't, I don't rewatch it, I guess. He was there. He was good, except for the fact that nothing really shot at him. Actually, no, he did prevent a penetrating hit from one of the obliterators that shot into his bum. So that's good. Vichy Soist. Painful to watch people playing against John. He's too good. Nonsense. Nonsense. He's, he's just a, a challenge. He's... The thing with John is that he... Both times I've been clobbered by him, he's had demons. And big, huge, monstrous creatures, which are a very hard thing for orcs to deal with. I've talked about this a lot. But... He's, in a, and he is a very sound tactician, for sure. He is a good player. I'm not taking away anything away from John, but I know I, I know I can beat him. I know it. It's not even a question. How many times I have to play him to beat him, who knows. But it's just, I have to stop making silly mistakes. Because everything that made me, well, the shock attack and rolling level one, you know, it's no one's fault. It's, it's the Orc Codex's fault, which I'm totally okay with. This is awesome. But... Uh, just not moving Fred back far enough. A few other things as well. If I would have been more tactful as he sound, I would have done a lot better against him. But uh, that did not happen. And that's why he clobbered me. You cannot make any mistakes with John. Lord Commissar Thermidor. Like thermal underwear? No, Thermidor, Thermidor. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you have to summon demons onto the board if you are playing Chaos, and greater demons require a sacrifice. I've never played an Apocalypse game, so I could be wrong. Well, it was Apocalypse. John was like, do you want me to deep strike him? Do you want me to summon him? I'm like, ah, just throw him on the board. We're having a fun Apocalypse game. And so maybe if I forced him to do that, it would have been a bit different. But I didn't, because I want fun times. So... That's why all the demon, demon, whatever. They were all on the board because that's what we agreed to beforehand. Well, both of us were in accordance, so not a problem. Black Star, number one rule you got wrong. Oh, he's accusing me of something. Orcs always win. You're right. Actually, I, did, I, I said it jokingly. I was like, hey, orcs win at the end, but yeah. Yeah, they, uh, they, they definitely did not, in the usual sense, but in the orc sense, they always win. Because, because if you die, then it doesn't count, because they're dead. If you run away, they can come back and fight again, so it doesn't matter. And if you win, of course we win. So, so orcs actually never lose. But it does, I guess they don't always win, but they never lose. It's impossible for orcs to lose, so... Kill as many orcs as you want. Doesn't matter. There's more of us. Lord Pi. Fred should have a family, a wife, and two kids. Let's see how Angron can last against Fred and his family. So the problem with that is then Fred will have more responsibilities. And he just won't, won't be able to be in more videos with you guys. And so that'll be a sad time. Sad day. So, I don't know. However, however, there are... There are stompers in the works. Again, this is like conversions. So it's going to take a long time. Just because I just take a very long time. Until one day I get inspiration and I just sit down. I get to determination. I'm just like... <laughs> Stompa. Well, not, not that big. More like... Yeah. So Fred will have some, like, his brothers, I would call it. Brothers in arms. Brothers in orctum. So, so just, just wait. It'll come. Rated Lex. No Gasco in Apocalypse game? A sad day for Orc Kind. I know, I should have brought Gasco. He's awesome. However, I don't have him. He's actually not a priority right now. I don't know. I just Gasco doesn't appeal to me. In, in Apocalypse game, yes, he would be awesome to bring, and I want to bring him. But that's the only ever time, and I don't play very many Apocalypse games, so that's why I don't have him, per se. Because unless you're bringing, like, 2,000 points, he just seems like so many points 
for to bring in like in smaller games. And so I don't know, and again, for those of you who know my style of paying orcs, I I hate putting like a head on my army. I don't like putting my eggs in, you know, the basket of these few guys I can do so much damage. And so I like to spread it out more. And that's why Gaskill really doesn't play, appeal to me at all. Until it's Apocalypse and you just throw everything on the board and have lots of fun. Captain Gallas, or Gaias. Is Angron holding a lightsaber? <laughs> I'm glad you caught this. No one else did. Angron has a big sword. But it broke off. And we couldn't find it. And so he played with his fist. But. <laughs> so yes, he has a lightsaber, actually. His invisible sword. <laughs> That's why... He actually, he, didn't, he forgot where it was, and he stabbed himself as he was jumping on top of the bastion. Many people didn't catch that, but you did. Good job, Captain. Navcom 3. Okay, Dan. You need to spend some teeth with a Big Mac and get some more APOC Orc Ellipse stuff. Lift a Droppa, Mega Dread, Skull Hammer, Pulsar Rocket, Squigoths, Orc Super Cannon, or my personal favorite, Grot Tanks. Lols. Well, again, like I just said... Slowly building up a few stops. Actually, I got a big mech stop about 80% done. But I still have to do... I'm, what I'm doing is the head is actually going to be a throne with the orc, a big mech orc sitting on top with like a big custom force field like ball thing going around. So that's actually going to take... Maybe I'll say it's 50% done because that's going to take a lot of detail, a lot of work to do. But to ease your guys' appetites... Last night, I said it pretty late, I was just having some fun, I just, I've had this model for a long time, anyways, I made another looted wagon. And so I've had this Chasis for a long time, it's a World War II tank, I bought it like, who knows how long ago. But then I found this wonderful thing of matte scrap of the uh, Necron cannon. And so I just started gluing stuff on with that, and we got some orcs in the back, on that little bit there. Got a grot driving it. Of course, that's why he keeps on pressing that. Another little grot hanging out. Having fun giving you the... the right finger. You know, and some planks, everything just supporting this gun up on top. And so, it was a lot of fun to build. I'll probably do a little more converting to it. Even out just a bit, maybe put some more orky bits, although there already is a lot. Paint it up and hopefully have it in my next battle report. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And happy wargaming.